I'm Bo Man. Thank you for coming to my channel. Love to tell you more about me. Welcome back, Truth Confederacy. This reading is going to be on Mr. Bo Man. Figure out what happened to him once he got into that Uber or that Lyft. Where he was headed and what his intentions were. Because I'd say it's pretty obvious now that he was probably met with foul play. Nobody hearing from him. Phone silent. Activity silent. He was the creator of an app called Cyber Grid. So let's see what happened to Mr. Bowman. Oh, yeah. Oh man. Looking to connect with Bow Man. Yeah. See what Bow's state of mind is or was the day that he disappeared. His intentions or plans for the day. The events leading up to him going missing. his disappearance unfolded the circumstances surrounding his disappearance the reason for the circumstances the forces or influences involved in his disappearance perpetrator The motive the perpetrator had for causing his disappearance. And last words from the cards. Okay, now our first card is going to show Bo's state of mind. And that's going to be the Queen of Pentacles. That's a card that's um, showing someone thinking of a high social status. Prosperity, wealth, success, and financial independence. So that looks like that's what was on his mind the day that um, he went missing or disappeared. And the next one is going to show his intentions or plans for the day. That's going to be the Queen of Swords reversed. That's showing uh, not learning from the past. Feeling dependent on others. Not getting the freedom and independence that you crave. So that to me looks like um, not learning from the past. Unfortunately, this looks like uh, plans and intentions were to um, whether his choice was alcohol or a drug of some kind, it was to break sobriety pretty much. Now the next one is going to show the events <laughs> leading up to the disappearance and that's going to be the tower. Tower is a representation of chaos and destruction. Now, this destruction is directed at something that's built on a false foundation. A tragic life-altering events such as a drug overdose or an assault. Directed at something built on a false foundation. I wonder if um, the sober grid wasn't really so much him being sober. I don't know. I don't want to say that because I don't ever want to knock anybody's sobriety, but that's sure what this looks like it is um especially coming up a life-altering event such a drug overdose or an assault and uh, now the next one is going to show how the disappearance unfolded and that's going to be the ten of wands that's a situation that starts off as a good idea but now has you obligated saddled and restricted okay Look for clarification on this. The circumstances surrounding the disappearance is going to be the Three of Swords reversed. Now, the Three of Swords reversed is overcoming unhappiness or releasing pain. It's 
Also, a card showing you're reconciling with someone from your past. Some of that, someone from your past has been someone that's hurt you. So it looks like that he's playing an attention was going to be meeting up with somebody from the past to overcome some happiness and to release pain. I guess maybe some closure, perhaps. Uh, let's see who this is. It's going to be for the reasons for it. It's going to be lovers. Okay, so this looks like it's um, a past lover or an ex-lover. It's also indicating you have major choices to make or being faced with a dilemma. So I wonder if maybe he wasn't um, offered a reconciliation with an ex, maybe one that he might have um, gotten high with or drunk with, and it seemed like a good idea when he took off, but it quickly saddled him and restricted him. Now, the next one is going to show us the forces or influences behind his disappearance, and that's going to be the Knight of Cups reversed. The Knight of Cups reversed is aspected as a male, usually between 20 to 35 years old. He's at first, he appears to be charming and trustworthy, but once you get deeper into the relationship, he turns out to be disloyal. He's a commitment phobe. Um, manipulator, cheater, and a heartbreaker. I wonder if this is his ex. The ex-lover that, that he was going to be reconciling with. Now, the next one is going to show the perpetrator. That's going to be the King of Swords. Now, that is aspected as a mature male. Uh, he's cool-turned or, or clinical, self-disciplined, strong, and is a deep thinker. He's also stern. Next one is going to be the motive, and that's going to be the Five of Swords. The Five of Swords is a self-sabotaging, underhanded behavior. Deception. It's also a card of serious conflict. It represents situations that we never hope to find ourselves in, such as crime, theft, bullying, abuse, assault, and up to murder. Whoa. Now, the last card is going to be the last words from the cards. That's going to be the Nine of Cups reversed. That represents shattered dreams, unhappiness, feeling let down or disappointed by someone, and it's also an indicated card of addiction. So what it looks to me like here is that when Bo left the 7-Eleven and got into the Uber or the Lyft, that he was meeting up with an ex-lover, someone that had, from his past that had um, hurt him, someone possibly he'd been getting high with or drunk with. Um, looks like that, that seemed like a good idea at the time, but it turns out not to be. And I guess the, um, intention was to tie one on together. But, looks like his self-sabotaging and underhanded behavior being deceptive as far as like, so I think he was either engaged to someone or seeing someone. So that would have been your deception right there. That's turned into some serious conflict. And I wonder if this perpetrator, this King of Swords, isn't the present lover to the Knight of Cups reversed. Because he seems to be um, this um, disloyal and a manipulator, manipulating Bo to get him down there just to, to have him, two men fight over him. That's what I feel like. And the last card would be the Knight of Cups reversed, Shattered Dreams, feeling let down or disappointed, an indicator of addiction. Uh, the underhanded behavior, self-sabotaging of addiction, led him back to um, this ex-lover. And I believe that this perpetrator being aspected as a king of swords, I feel like that this is the current lover to the Knight of Cups reversed. And I believe something has popped off as far as serious conflict which is turned into um, assault, crime, bullying, abuse, and murder. So I feel like that if you find who this ex-lover is and his new partner, mm -hmm. that you could possibly be on the right trail to figure out what happened to Bo. What an informative read. I want to thank you guys for joining me for another read. Giving me a little bit of your day. Have a great rest of your day, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye now.